Today we're here at Soas Brunei Gallery here in Russell Square. A lot of people uh, who lost their lives. So there the, the place for remembrance where people who lost their lives during the war have not even been remembered uh, as they should. There should be a big memorial. Looking at the exhibition titled Legacies of Biafra. See, nothing is growing, no leaf, no uh, grass is growing, everywhere is barren. To show that this morning belongs to everybody in the country, but a particular people are taking it. This exhibition commemorates the 50-year anniversary of the Nigerian civil war that took place in 1967 to 1970. But still there will be problems because even the rising sun on the Biafran map is floating away from Biafra. But the sad thing about it is that even when the civilians came in, it's not that they improved on what the military did. Basically, the civilians, it looks as if they even bought into this whole corrupt nature of the mil of military regimes, you know, some bad governments making wrong decisions or whatever. So, I would like to invite you all to please come down to Brunei Gallery in Russell Square to see the Legacies of Biafra exhibition running until the 24th of March. Now when you come here you're going to find a variety of artworks on display by the Nigerian Artists Society UK that range from paintings. We don't quite hear first world or second world, we tend to hear more of the third world which is a world where AIDS reigns supreme which is a world where economic uh, disadvantage and, and poverty and civil war and strife and greed and fraud and, and immigration, migration from Africa to the first world, which is not exactly ever called the first world, but we are called the third world for whatever reason. To sculptures, to archival materials, um, films. I would get family members speaking about Ochuku. Or I would hear the word Ochuku, and I would hear like Biafra and I would hear my uncle say, oh, the Yorubas are this and Yorubas are that, but I'll never understand. That narrate and tell the stories of lives of people that lived through the Biafra War. So it's like a place where there's constant rancor, uh, British experiments that uh, still keeps yielding heartache. And I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Thank you.